Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Food Inventory Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with a continuation of our freezer and pantry challenge. So out of the freezer, I grabbed this DiGiorno three meat pan pizza. We had this probably about a year ago um, for the first time. And so um, I can't remember which flavor or which variety we um, got last time, but this time we are having the three meat with sausage, pepperoni, and beef. And it does come in its own pan. So here is the pan. This is what it looks like. It's a large pan. And so you cook it on 400 in the oven for 23 to 25 minutes and then you take it out of the pan um, after it's cooled for about three to five minutes and then you put it on a um, baking sheet to cut the pizza and that's what I have done here. I wanted to show you guys the crust. So here is the crust and it looks really good and thick. It kind of looks like the package to me. And then I cut a slice so that you guys could see how thick it was. So that's what it looks like. And the bottom, as you can see, is nice and crispy and golden brown. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am so happy to report that we are finished with these Parmesan encrusted tilapia. As of tonight, we have been eating these things for weeks now. So I am happy to be able to throw this bag in the trash. So tonight, of course, we are having the tilapia, which we baked in the oven. And we are also having some corn. This is the corn that we are using, the steam fresh bird's eye variety. And then I took it out of the bag, put it in a bowl and added a little bit of butter, salt and pepper with it. And then we are also having um, Nora pasta sides, cheesy spinach dip. And here it is, never had it before. Let me show you the package. This is something that was in our pantry too. So every single thing that you see here today came out of our freezer or out of our pantry. I'm so happy to um, use up these items. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I am dining solo tonight. Howard went to volunteer at our church's um, carnival and so he is going to eat something there. And um, I did not feel like cooking so I grabbed a frozen meal from the freezer. I have talked about this spaghetti with meat sauce from Walmart um, during grocery hauls that I've done in the past. And I really, really like this spaghetti. It has a really good flavor and let me flip it over for you guys. The ingredient list is relatively short. I mean, pasta, it has real cooked Italian sausage, cooked beef, so none of that artificial stuff and feelers and, and all that. And it's um, pretty inexpensive. I think this frozen meal is $1.88. And you get a pretty um, generous portion. So here is what it looks like once you cook it up. It has a really good flavor pretty decent portion and I have had um, I think I've had their meatloaf and that's pretty good I've had a few other frozen meals from them and they're pretty good too but anyway this is what I'm having for dinner tonight something quick and simple and I'll see you guys next time hey guys so for dinner tonight I stopped at a restaurant called La Madeleine which is a little French bakery and cafe um, and it's um, like fast service though so it's not like a sit down place and you're served with a waiter or a waitress you actually go up to the counter and order your food but it's really good and so i got um, what is called chicken friand which is right here and i got it to go so it came in this container and then the sauce that goes on top came separately um, so i reheated it when i got home the friand the chicken friand in the oven and inside the puffed pastry is a shredded chicken and mushrooms and some seasonings and it's really good and then it comes with like a mushroom type of sauce that goes on top of it and then I also got a cup of cream of mushroom soup Howard didn't want to eat anything from there he wanted to eat something at home 
And then you also get bread when you go to La Madeline. So in here I have some sourdough bread and they had some other breads that you can get. Um, and then you get real butter, yum, yum, yum. Howard wanted to eat this Panera soup, uh, broccoli cheddar soup. So that is what he is having for dinner tonight. So this is what's for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having another meal from our pantry and freezer. We are having this Kikkoman fried rice. Um, it's a seasoning mix, so of course I had to make the rice and I made that the day before and put it in the fridge and so it would, you know, kind of stiffen up a little bit. And then um, to it you add green onion, bacon, and egg and it looks like the package, doesn't it? So I got this on a recent Walmart haul. I never picked it up before. And one of our supporters, Scott, mentioned in the comments that it was really good. And I do have to agree, it looks like restaurant style and it tastes like restaurant style. And I'm shocked that it looks just like the package. So we're having that. And then we are also having some pot stickers. Here they are. And I pan fried these and they are by Ling Ling. We got these either from Costco or Sam's Club a while back ago. And I think we probably have one more serving in this bag. And so this is it. So we're having pot stickers and the Kikkoman fried rice. So this is what's for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time.